your it's Yaakov with a brief Shabbos message. I want everybody to enjoy their um, their seventh day to be able to to have a day of rest and enjoy. And uh, may this uh, idea uplift you as well. So we see um, that uh, there are times in a person's life where where they have an ideal uh, ideal time, place they have an idea in their head and a, of a situation and how it's supposed to work out right? their expectations so to speak of how something is supposed to work out that's what an expectation is I expect something to work out a certain way and 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 sometimes we won't make the jump or we won't perform something, we won't do something unless we're in that perfect mindset. Hashem reminds us something very beautiful about this, advice on this. The, the, uh, the, according to Jewish law, it says, on, and according to the, to the Torah, the Orisa, the, the, um, according to the Torah, which is a biblical commandment, on the sixth day, uh, six days, Hashem, the, the, the what are you called? There was work to be done, to toil, and on the seventh, Hashem rested. Hashem Himself rested. So we know, in a basic, in a very basic understanding, that um, that's why God wants people. That's what God wants His people, His nation, who emulate Him, to do the same. To show that we rest on the sixth day. Uh, sorry, we we uh, work on the for six days and rest on the seventh, just as God did, to emulate God. And the the law is what, from the sixth to seventh day, when it actually becomes Shabbos. The moment before Shabbos is is a, the last time you can do any labor. So that moment that you could do labor, wonderful. But that's the last moment that you could do labor. So even if you think that. You didn't finish the work that you wanted to get done. You were working for six days. You feel like, I'm working, I'm working, I'm doing everything. You were, you were doing everything. The best you can do. And God says, ah, this is the end. The person says, what do you mean it's the end? I, I still have more time because I'm not dead. You know, so I have more time. Who's going to stop me from working? You know, Because I want to make it perfect. God says, no. My law is that when it comes the sixth when it comes at the end of the sixth day and the seventh day begins, everything's perfect. Because that's when you rest. And rest is the thing that's lacking, not more work. Meaning, doing like God did, like God advised. Sometimes you want to do things perfectly and God says you need to take a break or you need to move on to something else. That doesn't mean you shouldn't try hard and shouldn't, shouldn't try your best in the things that you're doing. But it means it doesn't mean you do need a break or you do need to change, change different mind to a different mindset, instead of say, or stay on the stay, or stay on a different or go on a different path instead of staying on the same path. We have to be ready to be able to accept what Hashem wants, to believe that not doing things sometimes is the doing, is the actual doing, is the thing that completes what we're doing, and Hashem outlines this: six days of work, seventh day rested. At the end of the six days. We stop working because Hashem says, I am resting, you rest. The reason you should be resting is that Hashem is saying, the reason you should stop doing what you're doing and, 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 and rest because I'm telling you the week is completed. You completed this week. You think because you didn't do 40 hours or 80 hours what you were supposed to do, you didn't complete it? No. You completed because Hashem said you completed. You completed this week. You're alive. You passed. Hashem brought you through the end of this week. You completed what you were supposed to. You did what you were supposed to do. For next week, something in a different world altogether. This week you complete it. And may you re recognize that you don't have to be perfect to complete. What's perfect is is taking the breaks that you need, taking taking the awareness, the time to recognize and open your eyes and re recognize that, that we need that rest. That rest is being with God. That rest is being completely aware of all of your efforts and that it was a product of God's will. And God's, God gave you the power and he gave you the wisdom and He gave you all this stuff. All, returning all the physical things, everything that we've done in the six days, back to God and focusing on the source. 
May everybody enjoy focusing on their source and recognizing also the the source of uh, all the goodness you have is by Hashem. Enjoy. Bye. Shabbos.